uh, on your screen, Sima. Hey, Sima, um, can you let me know that it is um, available? Uh, can, you, can you see it? Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Okay, so um, good, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, welcome to, uh, to, to this session. My name is Justina. So, um, wait, let me just go into the next slide. So, uh, I'm the in-country um, engagement manager for Indonesia and Southeast Asia. And today, uh, we will explore the, uh, the topic of the life of international student at QT. So, uh, before we start, I'm just going to play a bit of a short video for you. Can you see on the video? QT's campus is located in Brisbane, Australia. So um, for those who have been to Australia with, uh, before, I'm sure that you already um, know about Brisbane. So for those who haven't, Brisbane is a sophisticated modern economy with culture, diversity, and world-class industry capabilities. So uh, it is located on the east coast of Australia, and it is the third largest city in, uh, in Australia after Sydney and Melbourne. And it is a vibrant tropical energetic city. Um, so we have from natural pleasure of park, parklands to the urban appeal of art galleries. It's right at Brisbane. So it's very lively. So where is KUT? So KUT campus is located in the city center. And we actually have two campuses uh, there. And they are linked by a free shuttle, uh, shuttle bus. So uh, the first campus, uh, it is called Gardens Point Campus. So it is beside the city and uh, beside the botanical gardens. And it is the home for our QT Business School, our engineering faculty, and also um, our uh, uh, faculty of um, health. And also uh, our, uh, sorry, uh, for our Kelvin Grove Campus, it's just across the city. So it's, it is only for uh, 4.5 kilometer away from the first city. And it is home for our creative industry and also uh, uh, QT College. So Brisbane is reasonably very compact and uh, compact and the public transportation is very well connected. So you can actually easily, to, uh, if you want to get somewhere, you can take bus or trains or even ferries. So uh, you, if you, also want to know about the cost, you can go to the public transportation website and you will find out that they are actually 50% discount for full-time student in Brisbane. So um, it is very, um, 
convenient and you can easy uh, even uh, ride your bicycles uh, or even you will uh, you can walk within the city and um, the climate and also the atmosphere is very eco eco friendly so if you want to see more about the campus and the facilities, just go to our website because we have uh, 360 degrees videos and also 3D virtual tours on our website. Um, yeah, so both campuses are uh, also can be uh, visited virtually on the website. So please check out our website. So uh, in QT, we are very highly embracing uh, in the real world learning. So a lot of case study and practical assessment are embedded in each of our programs. So uh, every of our students must do some practical work integrated learning practice uh, during their study. And this work integrated learning actually can be in the form of internship capstone units or project or study tours that our student will do in the industry. So you will not only stay in a campus. So um, we have a lot of industry partners. So uh, QT is globally network and also the industry leaders have direct inputs into our programs. Um, it is to this connection that, that we are able to offer professional work in experience and also work integrated learning opportunities. For example, we, ha uh, we have a very close relation with BMW in Germany. And uh, if you want to hear about more videos from our industry partners, you can go to our YouTube channel. It is called the QT Tube. So there are a lot of uh, videos that you can see there. So as I mentioned, it, um, you can see the facilities that we have in our website. So I just want to mention that QT is the first campus in Australia who owned a, an EAP sport arena. And uh, we also have a 24 hours labs that is open for our student. And um, perhaps I just want to touch on a bit about also opportunities. So aside of your uh, academics, you can also use other services. For, for example, you can uh, use our career monitoring peer or peer-to-peer -peer mentoring and also OCX work experience and other services that we have. And I just want to specially mention about OCX. So this is actually um, an activity that, that you can do your, during your internship. So uh, sorry, during your semester break. So you can actually do an internship during your semester break. So QT will help you to find uh, a company for you to do this internship. And for student life, it's actually a lot of fun activity, activities that you can do uh, around the campus. So if you don't have any classes, you can always uh, join to one of our 150 clubs and societies. And um, there are actually many of uh, and diverse on campus food options. So uh, we have many cafes and restaurants available on campus. The security also 24 seven um, available on campus. So you don't need to worry whether you have that classes or if you spent um, more than um, you know, uh, outside of business hour in the library, there's also uh, the safety is very uh, guaranteed. So you can also use our fitness and sporting facilities that's available around the campus. So we also provide extra supports to our students, especially international students. And um, you can find all of this information on our website. So for example, by the time you reach uh, Brisbane, Australia, the, you can actually book, uh, book an airport reception. It is available for 24 hours, as long as you can book this uh, service one week ahead before your arrival in Australia. And um, you can also uh, come to our career and employment support. So you, if you find help, uh, if you need to find help for your part-time job or perhaps after you graduate and you need to find employment, uh, uh, my colleague in this uh, department will be available to help you 24 hours. And we also have to, uh, we have pro uh, provided disability services for those who need it and also language also uh, and other learning support for our international student. And I just want to show you also a bit of a, a video from our student. I 
I've been living in Brisbane for almost a year now. It's been really nice. I really enjoy Brisbane. It's, it's a nice city. It's really clean and it's safe. Finding accommodation in Brisbane, it's quite easy. You can find it by yourself through online websites and everything. And it's not expensive if you live it with your roommate. Well, for me, I live alone, so it costs me around 300 to 400 per week, but I live in the city, so it cut down so much on transportation. Compared to other Australian cities like Sydney and Melbourne, Brisbane is way cheaper. It's really convenient because it only takes me about 10 minutes to go to campus. Right now I'm in Fort George Valley. Uh, I'm gonna buy some halal meat. There's like a very uh, nice halal meat butcher. Comparing my study experience in Indonesia and QUT, in here you get to meet people from different backgrounds, different nations, and it actually broadens your point of view. Like, you're more open-minded and everything. And we actually have less contact time in the studio and the lecture, which gave me more time to study independently and also explore my design. I benefit a lot from that because uh, you get more time to explore on the course. I really enjoy the courses in here because they let me to just be more comfortable with my own way of studying. In QUT, you can take an internship and be credited as a part of the subject. And it's a good experience because you can actually work in the real world. And although QUT doesn't place you a position in the internship, but you can easily find it on your own. Like for example, I got one in Bali, which is great. The good thing about um, applying work here is actually it would, you know, like shine in your resume. It would be a really good experience as well for you in the future. So I guess having an opportunity to work um, abroad, it really opens a lot of opportunities for you in the future, not just not just in Australia, but in other countries as well. And you also have a lot of options. You don't have to work in a design field. But for me personally, I will try to find a work in a design firm because like, I want to expand my experience and also it will help me in my portfolio and also my CV. Oh yeah, and the design school, it also provides you with an additional weekly tutorial session outside the class. You can take your drawings, your design, your paper, everything to them. And the tutor will give you an additional feedback regarding your assignment, which will be very helpful for your study. So in QD, you get to present your project in your final year to the public. There's an exhibition that opens for everyone. You can invite your family, friends, and even like some people from the structure are coming to this exhibition, which is a very good opportunity for your future career. So we're now at the Brisbane Rail. From here we can see the whole Brisbane city. Okay, so let's just get in. So we can see obviously Brisbane is a very much important city. Like there's a lot of skyscraper and everything. Like the activity, the traffic and everything. But it's still so relaxed. There's actually a lot of activity today in Brisbane. Like, and this is very close to our campus, so you can actually ride this every day. As you can see from the entrance, it's all bright lights and colorful yeah. things. Nice. So yeah. Can't wait to go inside. Yeah, <laughs> yeah let's go. As mentioned on the video, uh, living cost in Brisbane is very affordable. So you can uh, only prepare about 1,600 for your living cost in Brisbane for a month.
and it will cover uh, everything. So it from uh, it will cover from rent, food, trans uh, transport, and everything, including entertainment. So I just want to play another video. This is uh, how one of our students, Joanne, uh, spent day, day, uh, a day in the, her life as a student in QT. I always start my day with a cup of coffee, not occupying myself with morning papers or checking my emails. The coffee moment is also me time. Before I start any other routine, I prefer to do some exercise first. This will actually increase blood flow, which is beneficial for my brain, helps me to function at a higher level and allows me to stay more focused after. It's so easy to be healthy when there are so many food options. And there are also distinctive dining spots around that is perfect for sun seekers. I usually give myself some break. Uni life is very stressful. But it's all about self-discipline. Other than learning in class and working on assessments, there are also common spaces that allow me and my groupmates to work on school projects. It always surprise people that I can access all these different facilities on campus. I'm able to plan my day well in a work-life balance way and doing more things other than just studying. I really appreciate the experience that I get at QUT, a university for the real world. Okay, so um, I just also want to briefly mention about uh, the programs that we have. So with six faculties, um, QD offers a range of programs, both in UG and also postgraduate, and also all designed to give students the best possible career outcomes, including uh, work integrated learning, prof professional experiences, global opportunities, and also links to government and the corporate world, and also uh, very practical skills. So um, also I want to briefly mention about some profile of, uh, of the faculty. And uh, the first one is our QT Business School. So QT Business School at this moment is on the top 1% of business school in the world. Um, one of the reasons is because we have something called uh, triple international accreditation. Uh, just for, uh, for your information that at this moment, only three universities in Australia who have uh, all of these three international accreditation. So some of them only have one or even two. But only three, including QT, have the all of three uh, international accreditations. It means that your degree is not only a knowledge by Austra in Australia, but if you go to other countries, perhaps if you want to do your MBA uh, in US or other countries, they already acknowledge your business degree that you took at QT. And uh, our creative industry. So uh, QT get a creative industry, media and uh, communication studies. Uh, it's actually ranked number one in Australia in Australia for the five consecutive years, including the newest ranking from uh, the QS World Ranking by subject. So uh, in the world, we are number 16th for this uh, program. And our education is uh, graduate is highly in demand. So uh, it is more than 97% of students uh, the job offer soon after they graduate. Um, okay, so I think I run out of time. Okay, that's it. Okay, so five more minutes. So perhaps um, I will stop sharing the slide and if you have any question, you can ask me perhaps. All right, thank you, Miss Justina, for the insightful sharing. All right, no uh, if you guys have any questions for Miss Justina, you can always head back to the lounge in Crew below to chat with her, or yeah, you can just uh, search for her name and chat as well. That's why I'm waiting for a question in the chat board. 
I will play one more video. Is that okay, Sima? Uh, all right. I think if it does not exit for 30, then it's fine. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So this will be the last one. The BMW Group UT Design Academy is based on three pillars. It involves internship program and that's part uh, design education for students and also sending them over to Munich to work with BMW. The second part is research collaboration. So we'll have PhDs and masters students working within the academy. And thirdly is commercial projects. So that's doing projects with BMW in Munich, but the students and the design experts working here within QUT. So the BMW Group um, QUT Design Academy, um, it will give us the chance to have a physical presence here in Brisbane, and at the same time to get more exposure uh, in order to reach out for more talented students at the QUT. They will get the opportunity to work in a global leading company. They will have the chance to go abroad, um, get to learn new culture, maybe a new language, and to gain some experience that will help them in their daily job in the future or in their education if they have to continue their education. In three words, working at BMW for me is uh, fast paced, challenging, and sometimes we have fun as well. So QUT prepared me for a career at BMW through the way that I learned industrial design. The program is very varied and we had a lot of unique experiences and, and got to work across a broad range of topics, everything from human ergonomics to beginning software development. A lot of the work has involved emerging technologies, so things like virtual reality, augmented reality, autonomous systems, artificial intelligence, even robotics. So our students are getting involved in those kinds of projects and as a result, we then work with those departments and those labs, looking at how emerging technology can be embedded within the BMW systems. The way I like to think about it is the student teams are like think tanks uh, or brains trusts that can then be applied within the BMW group across different departments to solve the problems they need in a creative way using emerging technologies. Studying at QUT really prepared me well for working at BMW. Um, I had a great experience working across a huge range of topics and I think that's really the only way to work in a fast-paced industry like automotive. The QUT students have a perfect combination of willingness to learn, uh, openness and motivation, and last but not least, a perfect expertise in creative design and in industrial design. That's the end of today's session, I guess. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much. Have a great day, ma'am. Uh, oh, I think that's my question. Yeah, sure. So, uh, Philip, I guess um, you can go to our QT website. There are actually a lot of uh, type of accommodation available there. So um, I'm going to give you my email address because we're running out of time. So uh, you can always send me this question by email. Ah, okay. Thank you so much for the creation, Philip. All right, thank you so much. Thank you, bye-bye. Bye-bye.